Hey everybody. Okay, so I wanted to make a video really quickly and it got brought to my attention a few days ago, but I I felt really compelled because it's it's very very odd case. Um so I'm just going to say what uh the information that I know as far as this case goes. Now I haven't looked that deep into it for a good reason. Um so I'm just going to say what I received. I didn't feel like the session was complete. Um but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just say why um, eventually. Uh, but let's just get into it. So this case um, is the uh, children that are missing: uh, seven-year-old JJ Vallow and seventeen-year-old Tylee Ryan. Uh, their mother is named Lori Vallow. Um, they're and apparently I believe they're from Rexburg, Idaho, Idaho, or that's where they went missing was Rexburg, Idaho. So the mother of these two children is in a cult, okay? And so she has nothing to do with the disappearance. Two of her legal team quit and did not specify why. Arrested in Hawaii with new husband. He is, and this husband is a doomsday author. She couldn't produce her children to authority, so they arrested her. Last seen September 8th, 2019 at Yellowstone National Park. And there is a photo um, that was taken that day. So they begin to search for them after uh, JJ Valo's family um, kind of was wondering where he's been for months. Check. And then Dory said, if you can't produce your children, we're going to arrest you. So she, obviously she could not. And then they, um, they arrested her. So she joined a group of people who believe their mission was to prepare earth for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so very odd. Um, and, and there's been numerous witnesses that have claimed that she's changed over this period of time. Ask questions, um, like if the stepfather was covering for Lori, which is, uh, the person that's a suspect in the killing or suspect in general of what's happened to her children. Um, she hasn't provided anything of saying where her children are, which is very odd. Um... So obviously she has something to do with this. It's not a, a question, you know, anybody with logical sense knows that she has something to do with this based on the fact that she doesn't know where her own children are at. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I received. So the first image, it was like an image, almost like a little clip, um, like a situation. And when it came down to it, I ended up talking to Tylee more only because uh, JJ is seven and Tylee is 17. Look, I could get more information, more logical, more straightforward information um, if, you know, she is deceased or not. Um, and if she's not, I can read her and I could read them both. But I ended up staring more towards Tylee towards the end of it all. Um, so Lori Vallow, which is a suspected killer, started talking to them about how sinful they are and scolding them. I feel like that was Tylee kind of saying, you know, the what started happening was she started to get like delusional and started thinking like, oh you know, the little things you're doing are wrong and you're sinful and scolding them for things that aren't, isn't reality. Just, it's, that was ridiculous. Uh, saw image of someone taking kids' shoes off. So with that being said, I saw the image of someone taking their shoes off and I see maybe it was Tylee because it was a little bigger. I'm not sure, but it was a woman's foot the shoe was getting taken off of, shoes. Saw an image of Lori. I saw her look like she was bent down doing something but looking at someone else. I don't know if she was paranoid and making sure nobody was watching or if she was with somebody doing this. So keep that in mind. Also saw a shower head with the water coming down. And and I will go back into this later. I'm gonna show you actually what the image I saw, which is odd. I don't know if it was a shower head. Explaining that that shower head or the shower head, the shower or a waterfall or some water streaming down was significant in this case. So I did see a noose. A noose, just rope and a noose. It made me think, what if they were forced to do something that they didn't want to do? Um, that's what I felt was forced into doing things they didn't want to do. Um, I would hope that she didn't make them in their life in that way. Um, I could be getting that for very numerous reasons. I could, um, there's symbolism to noose, you know, it could mean, um, that she was slowly making them feel like they weren't worth living, if that makes sense. Something like that, or um, kind of like 
they had no other option. You know, when people were put in nooses back in the day, it was because they did something wrong or lack thereof doing something wrong. You know, people just didn't know. So they were, you know, hung. Um, and a lot of the times it was for not the reason that it, sh you know, is worth is worth that. Um, so there's a lot of different reasons why I could get that. And I'm not sure. And it's, it scares me a little bit as to why I got that from a, from a 17 year old. Got an image of a white lace glove. Lace and lower positions were only, wore only white gloves, which symbolizes purity. All ceremonies were followed with transmission of said glove. High status, or it can mean high status, cleanliness, purity, power. It's, uh, I, I really do hope that that's not what I'm getting into here. I really hope that I'm not getting this type of sacrifice type of they were being taken away into something that they're not going to get out of type situation um like a sacrifice or being stuck or so I'm just going to keep going so then I tried to talk to just Tylee she's older maybe more aware of events so I said that so next image spoon maybe being fed badly not being taken care of properly so that may be the events before they went missing it may be events now if they are or of course series of events that happened they may have not they may have not passed right whenever they went missing it may have been later at a later date mind you it's been over six months now or about six months i'm not sure so i keep seeing them tylee specifically living in bad conditions like the cult her mother is in. I don't know if she's showing me prior events or saying they're alive in a remote location as a sacrifice. And she gave them away to someone. So all these little different possibilities, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit because it's like, I don't know if she's alive and I'm reading her or if she's passed and she's telling me what happened. So I gotta, I gotta go back into this again, but I'm just gonna keep going. So the next image was a creek slow moving stream with dangerous raft at one part of it that's what i did remember is that seeing a creek um kind of out of nowhere and then bam a bunch of rocks and like really hardcore water coming out right there and then it went back to normal so i i heard someone scream mom and it sounded like a sorry sorry like a female and it was like a how could you it was like a don't leave it was like a uh stop a very desperate mom. So this is the image of what I saw again after, uh, you know, it's kind of taking a break and then coming back. So it looks like a shower head to me. Um, it could also be an object that was used. So like a blunt object. Um, I'm not getting as much as I want. They could be alive or it's just hard to connect for me. I'll try again shortly. So then after that, I saw a glass slipper, like Cinderella. Weird, right? Okay. And that could have numerous symbolism too, but I'm thinking of a 17-year-old or a 7-year-old. If they showed me that, what does that mean? You know, I'm thinking the story of Cinderella. Um, she was secluded. She wasn't treated fair in the family. She was treated like a slave. All these things. So, you know, it could be symbolism for something else. Or she's telling me Cinderella reminds her of what she felt like or what she felt did like. get that Lori, the suspected murderer, did treat the seven-year-old better. So keep that in mind as well. From my experience, uh, just researching about, you know, cult-like things and things that have happened in the past, the men are treated better. Um, women are breeding factories, some some people, um, especially when it comes to things like this. Very scary situations. So keep that in mind if there's any more information that comes out please tell me. you know that was very random and odd and I usually you know as you know the first readings are always kind of like all over the place so that's where you come in and help um I haven't read much on this case but I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna read more on this case I don't because I want to know if anything that I said makes sense and then go deeper I will get back to you on this uh I feel desperate to know what's happening with them right now. And I, I hope they're like, uh, it, it's really sad to say right now, but if they're in a weird place, if they are alive, it's not in a good place. And I would wish them that, that they either get found or that they pass peacefully and painless. Um, if they have passed, I really hope that Tylee realizes it. I don't think she does right now if she has um, from what I'm getting. So 
it, it's just, um, yeah, this is very interesting. So I'm going to continue. Um, but you guys have a great week. Stay inside. Stay inside unless you have to leave.